SMA or spinal muscular atrophy actually comprises three separate groups of people who are affected. At the very severe end of the spectrum we have SMA type 1 which is a very serious uh, condition that uh, affects young infants that unfortunately uh, die um, within the first year or two of life. It's a devastating condition for the infant and their family and unfortunately there's no uh, medicine or treatment to alter the natural course of the condition. Type 2 SMA tends to present a little bit later in infancy or uh, uh, where the child normally would start walking but doesn't walk so the child appears to develop normally up until that point in time. Children with type 2 SMA are never able to walk independently so it's important that they're referred to wheelchair services as early as possible. So children with type 2 SMA can drive an electric wheelchair from the age of about three or four and they can drive it very effectively. Um, because they are not able to walk their needs for physiotherapy are very high so it's really important uh, that they're seen by a physiotherapist early on. Physiotherapy is important for children with muscle wasting conditions on two levels. Firstly to get them fit, to help them go through a day. The more physiotherapy the better they can function. But it's also to help basically just look at long term how we're going to manage their lives in terms of a changing condition. There are two levels of weakness in spinal muscular atrophy. There's the muscles that are not working and there's the muscles that stop working because they're not getting exercise. And it is the one group of children where exercise helps. So we can try as much as we can to persuade them to work really hard, again through fun, through play, through activity, to keep their muscles as good as possible. It does make a difference and that's a very positive thing that we can do. The condition isn't uh, is, is relatively stable, but as the child grows, other problems may occur, particularly problems with breathing at night time, chest infections, feeding difficulties, uh, particularly with chest infections, can be a problem and it can be difficult for children with type 2 SMA to maintain their weight, so often they do need support with their feeding. My name is James Lee, I'm 28 years old and I have spinal muscular atrophy type 3. And the third type of SMA is type 3 SMA and perhaps a milder form type 4 SMA. These are people who um, present later, either in childhood uh, or teenage years, or if you've got type 4 SMA in adulthood, with muscle weakness. In terms of how spinal muscular atrophy affects me at home, it means that I find it quite difficult to get around the confines of my home unaided. Um, even walking from one room to another is a struggle for me. I have various adaptations to my home, such as grab bars and handrails, which help me to maintain my balance and to get around as independently as possible while I'm at home. At the moment, I currently see a consultant once a year to have a regular checkup on my health and how my condition is progressing, keeping an eye open for the development of things like scoliosis, pressure sores, these are all complications that can cause a huge amount of grief for someone and it's best where possible to uh, have a regular checkup and make sure that you're catching these conditions before they really develop into something severe. I try to do as much physio as I can. Sometimes I'm not very good at keeping myself to a strict schedule of physio, but I do try where I can because it is important to stay as active as you can. We know that it can be difficult for people to secure the equipment and the financial support that they're entitled to and so we feel that the advocacy service here helps people to understand how to actually fill out forms to help them be put in a better position so that they can eventually secure that, that information. Alert Cards are a fantastic initiative from Muscular Dystrophy UK that are potentially life-saving pieces of information that you carry on your person. They're small cards which are designed to be kept in your wallet and they provide really important information for healthcare professionals. Um, they outline things about respiratory function and heart function and so forth that many healthcare professionals might not know about in an emergency, especially as the conditions that the Alert Cards cover are so rare.
The Support Hub is a great resource that Muscular Dystrophy UK have made available for people with muscle wasting conditions across the country. It provides a wealth of information that's so important and so valuable, as well as covering the medical side of things, so having details of where your nearest uh, specialist centre is, where you can go for physiotherapy, where you can go for hydrotherapy. It also covers things that are not medical, but have a medical um, benefit, so disability sports, um, local services in your area, wheelchair services, all these things are so important to know about and it's so easy to use the support hub to find out about what's in your area. The hub has everything there in one place, condensed and easy to access. So even though it's a physically disabling condition, um, it uh, doesn't, it, if you have the right attitude, uh, you can live a very good quality of life. For many years, I walked with crutches. Over time, as I found the condition progressing, I've started using a manual wheelchair, and then I now use an electric wheelchair. Thankfully, uh, with the support of Muscular Dystrophy UK, I'm able to access this equipment, and it means I can get out and about and live an independent life with a good quality of life. I'm able to go to work, I'm able to go and see friends, I'm able to go to the shops, and I'm only able to do this thanks to the support of Muscular Dystrophy UK.